Hello, Assalamu alaikum. This is Abir Sakib Ahmed. Welcome to my channel Tutorial Hours. In this video, I am going to show you how you can do reliability analysis for each of your vari variables. For the analysis, I have five variables, and these four are independent, and this one student satisfaction is my dependent variable. So as you can see, I have asked four questions for each variable and this one is my cone batch alpha. So how I get this one today, I am going to discuss it with you. So this one is my data set. So now I am going to do reliability analysis. So analysis scale reliability analysis. So as I told you further that you have to take four questions what you asked based on each variable like my first variable is price see price fairness of foods so I have asked four question pf1 pf2 pf3 and pf4 so I am going to do reliability analysis for each each of the variables like price fairness so these four questions i want to do the re reliability analysis of these four questions so this one is my first question one two three and four now statistics so what you want you just click it here then you press continue then okay so you can see the reliability analysis cone batch alpha is 0.741 so i have written here 0.741 and i discussed further that your cone batch alpha must have to be bigger than 0.7 so here you can see this one is showing a good result so for each of the variable you can do the same thing like now you i am going to do reliability analysis for quality okay so one two three four then press okay then here is the result the chrome batch alpha is 0.755 so you can do for each and every variable like the independent and dependent like i did it here and you can make a table like this for your research and for if you are doing any report and this is how you can make reliability analysis for each variable Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like, share and subscribe.